Today, the Court once again walked away from decades of precedent and make, as the dissent has made clear. The dissent states in today's decision, quote, rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress, end of quote. I agree with that statement from the dissent. From, from the dissent. <clears throat> the Court has effectively ended affirmative action in college admissions, and I strongly, strongly disagree with the Court's decision. Many people wrongly believe that affirmative action allows unqualified students, unqualified students, to be admitted ahead of qualified students. This is not, this is not how college admissions work. Rather, colleges set out standards for admission, and every student, every student has to meet those standards. Then and only then, after first meeting the qualifications required by the school, do college look at other factors in addition to their grades such as race. Well, I've always believed that one of the greatest strengths of America, you're tired of hearing me say it, is our diversity. But I believe that. If you have any doubt about this, just look at the United States military. The finest fighting force in the history of the world. It's been a model of diversity. And it has not only been our, made our nation better, stronger, but safer. And I believe the same is true for our schools. I've always believed that the promise of America is big enough for everyone to succeed, and that every generation of Americans, we have benefited by opening the doors of opportunity just a little bit wider to include those who have been left behind. I believe our colleges are stronger when they are racially diverse. Our nation is stronger because we use what we, because we are tapping into the full range of talent in this nation. We cannot let this decision be the last word. I want to emphasize, we cannot let this decision be the last word. While the court can render a decision, it cannot change what America stands for. America is an idea, an idea unique in the world, an idea of hope, an opportunity, of possibilities, of giving everyone a fair shot, of leaving no one behind. We've never fully lived up to it, but we've never walked away from it either. We will not walk away from it now. We should never allow the country to walk away from the dream upon which it was founded. That opportunity is for everyone, not just a few. We need a new path forward, a path consistent with the law that protects diversity and expands opportunity. They should not abandon, let me say this again, they should not abandon their commitment to ensure student bodies of diverse backgrounds and experience that reflect all of America. What I propose consideration is a new standard, where colleges take into account the adversity a student has overcome when selecting among qualified applicants. Let's be clear. Under this new standard, just as was true under the earlier standard, students first have to be qualified applicants. Because the truth is, we all know it, discrimination still exists in America. Discrimination still exists in America. Discrimination still exists in America. Today's decision does not change that. It's a simple fact. If a student has, has overcome, had to overcome adversity on their path to education, a college should recognize and value that. 